An investigation underway tonight after a three alarm fire destroyed the Woodward Bar and Grill in the new center area. Drone 7 capturing these images of all the damage. The bar has been around since the 1950s and that makes it one of the oldest LGBTQ bars in the country. 7 Action News reporter Mike Duffy explains what this loss means to our community. The Woodward Bar and Grill burned down Tuesday, and while the damage is physical, the effects of losing a place like this are being felt deeply in the LGBTQ community. Charred remains are all that are left of a staple of Detroit nightlife. But it's more than just a local watering hole. The Woodward Bar and Grill was the oldest queer bar in the city. Its loss is being felt deeply by people like Dominic Blutick, who both worked and played at the Woodward. It's the last thing I ever expected to psychologically associate with this is the burnt down, you know, memory. You know, it's kind of painful. It does hurt. He says a lot of people are suddenly out of work. A lot of people that were still putting their heart, soul, money, time, patience, blood, sweat and tears into the, the bar. So 100 percent, everybody's everybody's feeling a loss. Janice Poindexter works at the Ruth Ellis Center, another resource and safe haven for the LGBT community just down the street from the Woodward. She told me what it provided. It's been a place where you can go and have a good time and bump into good people of our backgrounds, our genders, our races, our colors, our creeds. She explains what the fire took from the community. It really is a heavy loss, not just the LGBTQ community, but our broader community, um, our allies and people who also occupy the space. Right here. I also ran into the bar's owner, Jeff Hall, who was examining the damage with inspectors. He explained how difficult it was to see the place he loves destroyed. I left the scene for a little while because it was just it was a lot, you know, watching this place burn like that. I came down hopeful that it was something much smaller than that, but obviously it, it, it just turned into a huge fire. He says he's received support from around the country. And that really helped me, like the heartfelt messages. I felt like I had a lot of community support. Many people have asked, what's next? Is there anything redeemable? I hope so. I mean, right now I'm, I'm focused on rebuilding and just make, um, make a lot more memories here. In Detroit, Mike Duffy, 7 Action News. Wow, nice to hear him say they're going to rebuild, right?